Ever thought making a game was too hard? Well, think again. It's actually way easier than you might think. And today we're going to prove it. So here's the deal. First, we need to pick a language. Hmm. Should we go with C++? Nah, too fancy. Maybe JavaScript? Hold up. We're going with Python. It's simple. It's fun. And it's perfect for our game today. Are you ready? Let's get coding. First, we import the Turtle module, which is the tool we're using to create simple graphics in Python. Then, we set up the game window by creating a screen, giving it a title, setting the background to black, and defining the size as 800 by 600 pixels. To keep things smooth, we turn off automatic screen updates. Next, we add a game loop so the screen continuously refreshes and updates in real time. Once we save and run the program, we see a clean black game window appear, ready for us to bring our Pong game to life. Let's keep going and make it even better. Next, we add the first paddle. We create it using the turtle module and set its shape to a square, color it white, and stretch its size to make it taller. To ensure it doesn't draw on the screen as it moves, we lift the pen up, and then we position it on the left side of the screen at 9350, 0. Once this is done, we save and run the program to see the paddle appear in its place. After that, we add the second paddle. It's similar to the first one, but this time we place it on the right side of the screen at 350, 0. Again, we save and run the program, and now both paddles are visible, ready to be controlled. Next, we introduce the ball. We create it as a square shape, give it a white color, and lift the pen to keep the screen clean. We position the ball at the center of the screen at 0, 0. Once we save and run the program, we see the ball sitting right in the middle, waiting to move. Everything is coming together nicely, step by step. Let's keep going. Now it's time to make our paddles move. First, we define a function to move the left paddle, paddle 1, upwards. We check its current position to make sure it doesn't go off the screen, and if it's within bounds, we move it up by 20 pixels. Next, we create another function to move the left paddle downwards. Similar to the upward movement, we check its position and move it down by 20 pixels if it's still on the screen. After that, we do the same for the right paddle, paddle 2. We add one function to move it up and another to move it down, both working within the same boundaries. Once the movement functions are ready, we enable key controls. We listen for user input and map the W and S keys to control the left paddle and the up and down arrow keys for the right paddle. When everything is set, we save and run the program. Now, pressing the assigned keys moves the paddles up and down smoothly. It's starting to feel like a real game. Let's keep going. Now let's add some movement and collision logic for the ball. First, we update the ball's position by adding its dx and dy values to its current x and y coordinates. This makes the ball move smoothly across the screen. Next, we check if the ball hits the top or bottom edges of the screen. If it does, we reverse its vertical direction by multiplying dy by minus 1 so it bounces back. Then, we handle the ball crossing the left or right edges. When this happens, we reset its position to the center and reverse its horizontal direction by multiplying dx by minus 1. This keeps the game flowing and ready for the next round. After that, we add logic to detect when the ball hits a paddle. If it collides with the right paddle, we change the ball's color to blue and reverse its direction. Similarly, if it hits the left paddle, we change the ball's color to red and reverse its direction. Once we save and run the program, the ball starts moving, bouncing off the edges, and reacting to the paddles. Watching it all come together is so satisfying, right? Let's test it out and have some fun. Even if you know absolutely nothing about Python's turtle module, don't worry. I've got you covered. On my YouTube channel, there's a dedicated playlist all about Turtle. By following it, you'll be able to create amazing games like this and so much more. Start your journey today, explore the playlist, and let's build some incredible projects together.